It's week 102 of Zerts. I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is week 102 of Zer. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's a group of wonderful guardians that just keep on growing. Also, a link to the giveaway as well as the Discord will be in the description box below. So. Zer is located on Nessus, and he is here in the Watcher's Grave. Zer, what's up, dude? So, as always, let's go ahead and start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Arbalist. It's an exotic linear fusion rifle. Then we have the Crown of Tempest for the Warlock. The Shinobu's Valve for the Hunter, as well as the Ashen Wake for the Titan. Let's go ahead and start with the Arbalist. Trying to perk on this is Compounding Force, which fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. Then we have Extended Barrel, Projection Fuse, Disruption Break, which breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period, as well as the Composite Stock. Now, I don't have the ornament, but the ornament this week is actually being sold by Tess Everest at the Eververse, so go ahead and get that from her. Now, if you guys want this, go ahead and definitely grab it. It is a good, really good exotic for PvE as well as PvP. I definitely would get it if I were you guys. I'm going to go ahead and rate it a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. If you guys don't know the tier skill, I will put it in the description box below. Next is the Crown of Tempest for the Warlock. In terms of perk on this is Conduction uh, Tines, which Arc Ability kills Restore Arc Abilities. Then we have tar uh, Bow Targeting, Light Reactor, Machine Gun Targeting, Fusion Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. Whoops. And it also has an ornament called the Crown Jewels, and this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. So, if you guys do not have this, it is definitely a good exotic to use for the Warlock in PvE as well as PvP. Um, definitely one of the top tier exotics to use um, for your arc, uh, your arc class, which is your Stormcaller. So, I'm definitely going to rate this a tier 2, again, in PvE as well as PvP. Next, we have Ishinobu's Vow. I'm trying to perk on this is new tricks, which you gain improved skip grenades. And uh, there's actually a little bit more to that, and it says you gain an additional skip grenade charge. So you get two skip grenades, and skip grenade uh, returns energy when it damages enemies, and that's huge. Then we have submachine gun loader, fastball, momentum transfer, uh, grenade launcher scavenger, as well as machine. Ah, I was gonna say machine, a special ammo finder. No ornament for this. So, if you guys do not have the Chernobyl's Vow, it is a good exotic for PvP. A little bit for PvE, but I would probably use it better in PvP. So, with that said, in PvE, this is probably going to get a 2.5, maybe even a 3. But in PvP, it definitely will get a tier 2. Last but not least is the Ashen Wake for the Titan. In terms of perk on this is Bring the Heat, which you get improved fusion grenades. And it, it also gives you uh, fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed, which is good. However, we'll get into that in just a second. Next, we have linear fusion rifle loader, submachine gun loader, momentum transfer, as well as special ammo finder and heavy ammo finder. And once again, no ornaments. Now, in Destiny 1, fusion grenades were amazing. In Destiny 2, not so good. Maybe after... Uh, Shadow Keep is released. Maybe fusion grenades will be a lot better in the game, but at this current moment, fusion grenades are okay ish. They're not as they were in Destiny 1, so I'm going to have to give this a tier 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Next, we have your consumables, which is your Five of Swords, aka your Nightfall Challenge card. Then we have your Invitation to the Nine, if you still have this. I don't know if you do. I do, because uh, I just haven't done it. 
And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which does give you Forsaken Exotics. Um, except for specific ones that you need to get from either the raid or farming. And this is for 97 Legendary Shards. Go ahead and buy these first if you do not have one of them. Because there are, is a chance that you will get one of these for your Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.